welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing a cook with me video for our all time favorite recipe, chicken spaghetti. This recipe was given to me by my best friend, Katie. We used to make it in college all the time when we lived together. So it brings back so many memories when I make it, it's so much fun. This is always a hit with my family and every single person goes back for seconds when I make it. I kid you not. We are gluten-free in our house, so I use gluten-free spaghetti noodles. I put them into a pot of boiling water and then kindly ask Miss Alexa to set a timer for 10 minutes. Then I get to shredding my rotisserie chicken. Quick tip, every time I shred a chicken, I put a grocery bag on one side, the chicken in the middle, and I use the lid from the chicken container to hold the meat. And the skin and bones go in the grocery bag. When I'm done, I put what's left of the chicken in the sack and throw it away. It makes for the easiest cleanup. Then I make sure that the chicken is shredded into bite-sized pieces. My timer went off for the noodles, so I'll go ahead and drain those. I put the pot back on the stove and add a can of fat-free cream of chicken, fat-free cream of mushroom, rotel, you can use the hot rotel if you'd like, but we use the original, and sour cream. Then I just mix it all together. I find that it's best to do this on the stove because everything is nice and warm and it just mixes together so much better that way. Then I just season my chicken with salt and pepper before it goes into the spaghetti. And then I mix it all up. Next, I preheat my oven to 425 and get my chicken spaghetti into a baking dish. I make sure the chicken is evenly distributed for the most part. Then I smooth it down and cover it with foil. It goes in the oven for 20 minutes. When it's in the oven, I prepare my salad. I'm making an Italian chopped salad to go with our chicken spaghetti. It 
comes with a seasoning packet, Parmesan cheese, roasted red peppers, and Italian dressing. This goes into the fridge until we're ready to eat it. The timer went off for the spaghetti and now I get to top it with some cheese. This is everyone's favorite part, so the more the merrier. It goes back in the oven for 10 minutes, uncovered. Leave the foil off. I usually get a gluten-free loaf of bread for this dinner, but they were all out and all I had were these English muffins, which is fine. So I put them in the oven to toast up while my cheese is melting in the spaghetti. Then I set the table. I put napkins, forks, hot sauce, we eat hot sauce on everything, butter for the bread, drinks, and of course, serve our food. I step outside and tell Matt that dinner is ready. I like to have everything ready for him to just sit down and eat. He's been at work all day and he comes home to work around the house, so this is just one way that I can show him that I appreciate him for what he does. I hope you like this cook with me. Let me know if you try this recipe out and how you like it. I'm telling you guys, it's always a hit when I make it. Family, friends, everybody loves it. Make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed watching a cook with me video. And please subscribe and stay. I would love to have you. See y'all next time, bye. Oh, 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 oh,